Hey everyone, this is Allie and welcome to the Common Room. I hope everybody had a very magical holiday season, but now that the festivities are over, I'm very excited to get back to unboxing. So stay tuned if you would like to see the magical subscription Fantastic Creatures box from LitJoy. So I know that I am a little late to the game unboxing this box, but somehow I have avoided all spoilers. I really don't know how it happened because I got this a couple of weeks ago, but I am very, very excited. This is the Fantastic Creatures box. And I think you guys know that we love Fantastic Creatures in this household. I have a whole magical shelf right there <laughs> that you can see. We just love it. And so I'm really, really excited to see what LitJoy has in store for us. now. Before we get into it, just to give you a little bit of information about LitJoy, this is a quarterly subscription box and this costs me $54.99 plus shipping. These boxes do have add-ons that you can purchase separate from the box. I do have a few of those in here to show you, but I'll make sure to leave those to last. That way we can go over everything in the actual box that we received. Now, before we get into this box, I do wanna go over the artwork on here. LitJoy does send out these really beautiful boxes with this really original artwork on them. And one of the add-ons that I always get is a, it's like this bag that they just put over the box when they're shipping it and it keeps it from getting all scuffed up. And I am really loving the artwork on here. So this month it's kind of all has like this black, dark background theme. But on here you can see it says LitJoy Magical Subscription. And on Newt's suitcase, it says Fantastic Creatures. Now on the front here, we do have some of my favorite creatures. We have this adorable little moon calf over here. And then we have a very brightly colored flooper. Now this guy, I almost thought he was a demiguise because he has like the white fur, but he's holding this little necklace. So I think that is just a, a little like white colored niffler. And you guys, I don't know if you can tell, but there is part of a Zawu on here. It looks to me like he might be on the bottom as well, but that's really exciting. But so that's everything on the front. Let's turn it on the side and see what we have. So on this side, we have, it looks like we have Miss Tina right here and she has her Akami going into the teapot. Now here is my little Demi guys. And then we have another little baby Niffler on her head. On the back, I love it. We have Jacob in the little armor that Newt gives him whenever he is being chased by the Arumpent, which is really cute how they drew him on here. And then we have another little Niffler. I guess they are taking over the artwork on here, but I love Niffler, so I'm okay with that. So this side we have Queenie, and she is standing in front of a Thunderbird. And then I don't know if you can see, but there's another little Niffler up here. So this is not the bottom, it's just kind of the other side, but we do have the rest of the Zawu. He looks pretty cute, a little scary, but pretty cute. So the bottom's really cool. We have, so it's a really dark theme. You see this person who is Najini, and she's got like, you can see the little bit of snake coming out from the bottom of her. So that is really cool. Now on the last box, I was very bad because I didn't show you guys the artwork right when you open it. So before I give you a sneak peek, let's open this little like cover here so you can see the artwork and then I'll give you the sneak peek. Before I get into that, Chris just told me I missed. There's little bow truckles on here. I don't know how I missed them. Look at how cute they are. It's little pickets. Okay, sorry. Now that I've shown you the bow truckles, let me show you the rest of the artwork. Oh, I love it. Okay, so we have Newt sitting on the Kelpie and then you can see there's a little Niffler in the water. I really like the Kelpie. I really like, I was wondering where Newt was at. For some reason I expected him to be on the front, but yeah, he's just hiding inside there. Now, before I get into this, one thing that I do wanna say, all of the artwork is based around Fantastic Beasts. And I knew that it was, you know, fantastic creatures. I knew it would be all about the creatures, but I'm wondering if this is just specifically themed around the Fantastic Beast franchise and not the standard Harry Potter. Let me go ahead, let me give you a sneak peek and then we'll see. Okay, let's see what LitJoy has in store for us. Ooh, ooh, I can see a little plushie in here. I don't know exactly what it is, but, oh, maybe a little nibbler. Okay, 
I'm assuming this is a cheat sheet, so we're putting it on the side. I'm just gonna start with the little plush because he's right on top and I can see him. I, I think it's a little Niffler. I'm not gonna lie, he's a little funny looking. <laughs> he just has this really round head. I can tell it's a Niffler though because he has this little pocket. Oh, does he have something in his pocket? What is in his pocket? In his little pocket, I see, oh, I think it's our coin. They do like a coin every look, look. <laughs> our little coin was in his little pocket. Now that is cute. I'm not saying he's not cute, guys. I was just a little taken back because his head just, there's something about it that doesn't match. I don't know what it is. You see how it's just this little round head? I don't know, he's kind of cute, but he does have a little pocket, which is really cool. You can see him up close. He's just a little plushy guy. I can't complain too much about him. He's very soft. Since it was in his pocket, let's go ahead and see what the coin is. Man, last time I got it right, I'm trying to think of what would be a good spell that they would have on our spell coin that has to do with Fantastic Beasts. There has to be something. I don't know. My brain is not giving me any good ideas, but this time it comes in this little kind of dark blue pouch. Let's just see what we have in here. I hope it's themed good. I hope it's just something that I am just not thinking of. Not really Fantastic Creatures themed, but it is a really cool spell. So we have the spell coin for Expelliarmus or the Disarming Charm. You can see on there. It is very pretty. I do really like these coins. I've always been a big fan of them. I think the artwork on them is really nicely done. And this one, now this is another gold one. And we've gotten, if you can see, I have little coins back here, three of them. So we've gotten four, three of them have been gold. And then I had one silver and then this one's gold again. So my, my shelves are very off sides. I have one silver and now four gold, but then you can see, so they always have like the spell movement on the back of it as well. And you can see the spell movement for Expelliarmus on the back of this one. So I do like that coin. It is a really nice addition to my coin collection. I guess I'll go ahead and put this back in my little Niffler's pocket since he seemed to be a fan of it. All right, guys, so there are a, a few little boxes in here. Now there's something that looks like maybe socks or some kind of cloth. I'm gonna pull that out first. Okay, it is socks. So I see where it says, has the little new Scamander like little symbol. And then it says socks by Litjoy. And you can see these are very new themed socks. So let me pull them out of the plastic so I can get a better look at them. Now again, these just say that they are socks by Litjoy. And you can even see they have just a tiny little spot on the top here where it says Lit Joy on the socks. Now I'm not gonna lie, I can't complain about socks. I am actually wearing a pair of socks that I got out of a Geek Gear box right now. And these just seem to be kind of thin. Let me take this little plastic piece off of them. That way we can see like how long they are and how actually thick they are. I'm very glad that I took that little part off the top of here because you wouldn't have seen the little new Scamander symbol that's on the top of the socks. And then we can see that they are little tall socks. I do really kind of like the newt theme. I don't have a lot of newt items. And I mean, they're just a pair of socks, but like I said, I enjoy a good pair of Harry Potter socks. And I really, I do like them. I think they're unique. I've never seen newt socks before. And I like that they have the little NS on the top of them. So yeah, I have to say I'm a fan of the socks. <laughs> And of course they are Hufflepuff themed. So I'm kind of representing Chris a little bit when I'm wearing them. 
There are a couple items in here that are actually exciting me a little bit, but I'm gonna pull this first one up because I can't tell what it, oh, I don't know if I wanna open this one. I think it's really big. I'm still gonna do it because I was planning on doing it, but there is this very big box right here. Ooh, it looks like it has an Akami on it. Oh my goodness, it says a LitJoy exclusive teapot. I am a little excited about this because it's an Akami on the box here and it says it's a teapot. Now this box is beautiful. Now I don't need the boxes that items come in to be designed, you know, all crazy, but I do really like this one. You can see you've got the Akami on the front here and it has like all the little like scales is what it looks like. And he even comes around on the side. And you can see where it says a Lit Joy exclusive. Let's take a look at this teapot. They could, you know, there's a lot of potential for this to be awesome. I'm hoping it is. Okay, I do really like it. Mm. Oh, it's so cool. Oh man. Now this is an awesome item to get. Of course, when we think of the Akami, we think of the teapot because we see that scene in the movie where Tina, you know, captures it going into the teapot. But the artwork on here is a beautiful and it's like the perfect little size teapot to go on my shelves. Let's see, I'm gonna put the little, it comes with this little lid here. Oh, it just goes right in it. And a really little cool thing about this, I don't know if you can tell, but the lid has this little lip on it. And so the lip goes like in the teapot first and then it keeps it from coming off. It kind of like holds it in there. But besides the fact that this is the most perfect shaped teapot I've ever seen, look at the artwork, you guys. Look at this beautiful Akami. You can see, you can see like its head there and it's trying to catch the bug and it's all twisted up and you've just got those beautiful colors. And I don't even know if the camera is like doing it justice on the coloring of this artwork. You guys know just from other prints and things that I've received, I really like the whole watercolor aesthetic. And this is giving me big watercolor vibes, just the way that the greens and blues and purples are all kind of blended together. You guys, I'm very impressed with the teapot. I cannot even lie. I was not expecting something this nice and I am very, very happy about it. If you guys see my lovely little Dougal back here, he comes from this company called Spelunka Art. I love them. And they have the perfect Akami to go in this teapot. It's like a smaller scale Akami and you can get either a pink one or a blue one. I'm going to have to get a blue one to put in this teapot. It's happening. I didn't know I needed him until right now, but I'm going to have to get him. I, I really, really like this. <laughs> There are two items in here that I'm gonna save because it looks like there's maybe some papery items underneath them. So let me do that. So the first item that I'm gonna go over from the paper items is going to be the little print that is similar to the artwork from the box, but it's always a little different. So this one's really exciting. We have Newt in the middle and you can see he is like completely surrounded by the Akami whenever the Akami is huge. And you have a bunch of the little creatures. Like you've got my favorite, the Dimmy guys. You can also see the Fwooper. And we've got a Niffler in there. Oh, we got a couple of Nifflers in there. And this, if you follow LitJoy on Instagram, this has kind of been the artwork that they have used to advertise for the box. So I've seen it before, but I do think it's really beautiful. And yeah, they just always send out a little one of these prints. So this one will be a good addition to my little collection that I have. Now this next paper item, 
is it's a lunicorn, again, advertisement, but they always kind of theme them so that they are kind of like an item in the box, but they don't count it as an item. But this one says, Lunicorns Live Among Us. So this is based off of the flyers that they're handing out in the Fantastic Beasts movie. On the back, it says how to identify a lunicorn. You will know someone is a lunicorn if they have secret info about LitJoy products before anyone else, get early access to LitJoy's new products, are a part of a community of book lovers in a private Facebook group, get special discounts on products every Tuesday, and shop in an exclusive store within LitJoy with products only they can see and buy. Now that is true, I am a Lunicorn, and everything I just listed there is a perk of being a Lunicorn. Now for anybody who enjoys buying from LitJoy or enjoys getting these subscription boxes, I do suggest becoming a Lunicorn. Again, you do get all of those perks, you get early access and you get discounts. It costs $10 a month, but that $10 Literally, you get points that equal the $10 that you can put towards purchases. So if you're planning on buying things like I do with the subscription boxes, it does not hurt to become a Lunicorn. Now for our last paper item, we do have one of the film strips that they have been sending out in all of the boxes this year. Now usually I kind of have a spoiler for what the film strip is going to look like, but I haven't seen any spoilers on this one. So let's see what we have. This one looks like it is Newt and Lita Lestrange themed, I believe. You can see it's like different scenes from them being at Hogwarts. What are on here? You have, you just have Newt with like all of his little animals or his little creatures. Oh, you can see in the second one, he's like putting them into his suitcase. And then Lita is looking into the suitcase and you can see on the very last one, you see like all of his creatures peeking out and you can even see the little bow truckle on his shoulder. I do really like this film strip. I've enjoyed all of the film strips. I am a little sad. I was watching one of the lives that they had and they're not doing the film strips next year. And I do have to say, I thought this was a really unique little idea and I am a little sad to see them go. So I do think this is a pretty cute little film strip. So there are two boxes left in here and one of them is a wand box. I usually save the wands to last. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, but I'm equally as excited for this other box that I'm gonna open for you right now because it is the whole box is themed like Newt's suitcase. So you can see it's just a simple little box, but it's just got artwork on here to look like the suitcase. On the front, it says LitJoy Limited Edition. Now, I don't know. I don't want to mess it up, but I can feel something moving in here. I don't know what this would be. So on first glance, I can see it's a Thestral, which makes me excited but I don't know what this is. Is it weird that the first thing that comes to mind is like a nesting doll? It looks like a nesting doll, but the Festral on here is beautiful. Let me take it out of this plastic so I can show you the artwork on here. Before I get into this, I just realized that it kind of feels like a nesting doll. A nesting doll would make sense if we were opening them and it was like all the different creatures that are like in Newt's suitcase. I, I could be completely wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. But look at this beautiful picture of the Thestral on there. Now, just from feeling this, it almost feels like it's wood, like it's wood that's been painted. Let, let's open this up. Let's see if we have another little thing in here. Does it open? It has to open. Oh wait, okay, it does open. I see it moving. <gasps> It is a nesting doll. I was right. I wasn't expecting a nesting doll, but look, you guys, it's a moon calf. Oh, I like the moon. Oh, sorry, I thought it was gonna fall down. The little moon calf, he's a little terrifying, but very cute too. Look at his little face. I just love moon calves. I wonder how many we're gonna have in here. Nesting dolls can go for days. Okay, let's see. So we had a Thestral and then we had a moon calf. It is wood. I can tell it's wood. What are you? Ah, it's my favorite. 
we have the little Dimmy guys. Oh, he's so cute. You guys know I have a soft spot for the Dimmy guys, but the artwork is really good on him. He's super cute. Okay, let's see if there's another. If you, oh, there's definitely another one. It's a Niffler. Mm -hmm. Look at his little cuteness with his little pocket watch. Oh, you guys, I don't know why I'm so excited about a nesting doll, but I just love all the little creatures. There's definitely still more in here. Oh, I don't know if you can see too. He also has little coins in his pocket. Okay, let's see. I'm scared I'm gonna break it. Oh my God, it's so tiny. Mm, of course, because it's a bow truckle. Oh, look at him. Look at the little picket. Oh my goodness. I think picket's the last one. Yes, he's definitely the last one. There's nowhere else to open. Why is that such a cute idea? I absolutely love the nesting doll. I love that it's actually like wood. It's very good quality. And I love that we got to see all the magical creatures. Not all of them, but you know, a good chunk of them. The only one, like a Thestral, doesn't necessarily have to do with, I mean, we see them in the second film, in The Crimes of Grindelwald. But it's not one that I associate with Newt, but I am not at all mad about seeing it on here because Thestrals are one of my favorite magical creatures. I can't lie, you guys, I do like the nesting doll. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to get into the last item of the actual box, which you can see is in a wand box. Now I have received one other wand from LitJoy. You can see the box right up there. It was the very first LitJoy subscription box I ever got. And it was, I think it says Ollivander's. Yeah, the wand box actually says Ollivander's there. And so it was our Ollivander's wand. But this one, it's the same design and the same color but it says LitJoy Wand Shop, and it says Makers of Fine Wands since 2016. So what kind of wand would we have? I feel like it could be either something related to a magical creature or like a newt replica. Let's open it together so we can see. I very, you guys know I love wands. I have a bunch of wands, so I can't wait to see what this one is. Oh, we can't see, sorry guys. We do have our LitJoy Wand Shop card. I'm not gonna look at it in case it gives me a spoiler. Let's see. Oh. Oh, it's something beautiful. I don't know this wand. I don't know if this is an original design by LitJoy. I don't feel like it's a replica, but you guys know I can't be mad about it because it has a snake all wrapped around it. You can see the little snake head right there peeking over the top. But then it's got, it's got like this little ball on the top of it. And the whole snake is just wrapped around it. And the carvings on it looks really nice. It looks, you know, like wood. I mean, it's a really pretty wand. I don't know exactly what this little kind of black ball part is on the top of it. Wondering if the cheat sheet will give us a little bit more information on that but it is a very unique wand. The only, now I think, I think I said this last time whenever I opened their wand, I was gonna say my only complaint about the wand would be the size of it because it's not very long. But again, if you are reading the books, a lot of the wands are not that long. You will read a lot about wands that are like seven, eight inches long. It's not like these wands down here. They're all like 13 inches long. And so this feels a lot smaller but actually it's probably more accurate to the wands that you read about in the books. Let me go ahead and read the card that came with this so I can see if maybe it gives us a little more information. Okay, so it just says on the front, it says a lit joy wand shop. On the back, it says wand properties, horn beam wood, 10 inches long, horned serpent horn, core, right, horned serpent horn, what? Horn beam wood. 10 inches long, horned serpent horn core, unyielding. 
So it is some kind of serpent wand. I'm thinking it's an original design. I can't even lie. I'm still a fan of the wand. Okay, so those are all of the actual items from the box. So now I do have two, three, five, no, one, two, three, four. Yeah, five add-ons to show you guys that I purchased separate from the box. So the first add-on that I'm gonna start with is the smallest of the add-ons that I have. So they did release another one of the like portrait pins. And this one is the Niffler and I love him. You can see on the bottom of the pin, it says muggle worthy. And it has the little Niffler whenever he is hiding in the jewelry display. And he's got like the necklaces and tiara on and he's just holding that pose. And it's a really cute one. I have a few of these like portrait scenes. Niffler's my favorite. I think he's just adorable. And I do wanna show you the pin backing on this one because it's actually themed really nicely as well. So you can see it's all yellow themed and it has Newt's suitcase and his scarf. So I just really like how that's all themed together. And yeah, I definitely had to add the little Niffler pin to my collection. <laughs> Now, of course, I am excited about the keys that I'm going to show you, you guys. But this add-on that I'm going to show you is probably one that I've been the most excited for because it's just such a cool little idea. Okay, so we have this little purple bag. I don't know if you guys know what a purple bag represents in the Wizarding World, but this is the color of the bag that they use in the first task where they are drawing their dragons at the Triwizard Tournament. So they have an add-on that came in the purple bag with a coin for each of the dragons. So you'd pull your coin out with your dragon and that is what you would face. So I am so excited. Let's see. So I'm gonna pull out. You can see there's your bag. We've got all four of these coins. Let me open them each individually so I can show you what they look like. I do wanna let you know, I was just looking in the box and I was like, oh no, I'm missing something. We did order stands for all of these, but we ordered them with some other add-ons that weren't specific to the box. And so they actually showed up before this box, but I do have five stands that I ordered with these and they're just the same as these little stands. They'll just hold the coins. So we do have five of them so that I can display these as well. So the first dragon to be picked out of the bag is going to be the Welsh green. So you can see it says Welsh green on there. And then if you flip it, it has a picture of the dragon. <sighs> I already told you guys that with the spell coins, I do love those. I think they are so cool to have. I am so excited for these. <sighs> I love the artwork of that dragon. It is just beautiful. And I even, I love the font that they have for the Welsh green. Oh yeah, I'm just a big fan of these. Let's see what the next dragon is going to be. So our next dragon is going to be the Swedish Short Snout. You can see right there, Swedish Short Snout. And then he does have a short little snout on his face, but he looks amazing. You can see the artwork for him right there. Oh, these are just beautiful, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. And they have like different designs and different font too on the back of them. So you can see the Welsh green had like this little rope chain design on the back there. And it's a very big kind of loopy font. Now the Swedish shorts now, I don't know. I don't know why they chose what they chose on these, but this one it's, it's a different kind of font. I don't even know how to explain it, but it has like these kind of feminine little designs around it. You've got like little flowers and just little lacy designs. Very pretty. Let's see who's next. This one, the font is not nearly as feminine and pretty, but this one is the Chinese Fireball. I really like the font on this one. 
Oh, it's so cool. And it has just these little, little designs all around the outside. But look at this guy. He looks awesome. Like he is perfect. Oh, you guys, I'm getting more and more in love with these, each one that I open. So that means we know our last one is gonna be the Hungarian Horntail. Let's see what this guy looks like. The font is really cool on this one. It still has kind of some lacy, more intricate designs. The font is just very bold. And I really, I really like how it looks here. He's, this one's very different from the other three. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. His face is probably <laughs> the funniest one out of all of them, but it's still really amazing. He's just not as distinguished looking as the others. But there's the face for the Hungarian horn tail. Oh, you guys, they're so cool. And all together, I know with their stands all together, they're going to look absolutely incredible. Oh, they're so cool. I cannot wait to put these on my bookshelves. So our last three add-ons are all related to the Alohomora Key collection that Lit Joy has came out with, but there is something a little different in this one, and I'm really, really excited for it. So they have a key hook that you were able to purchase, and you guys, it's so amazing looking. Let me show you. Oh, it's so perfect. So I have all of the Alohomora keys. And I definitely don't know what to do with them anymore. <laughs> like I want to display them, but I don't have a great way to display them. And so when I saw them come out with this add-on, I knew I had to get it. You guys, it's a key ring or like a key holder. But look at the design on it. It says muggle worthy and it looks so good. You see this little guy right here? You can hang your keys on it. <sighs> now... It's, it's actually a lot lighter than I thought it would be. It's still good quality. It's just kind of like a thinner metal that it's made out of. But oh, I love the bronze color on there. It's just perfect. Like when I think of Newt's suitcase, this is exactly what I think of. I think that's gonna be a really, really cool addition. I don't know where I'm gonna put it, but I can't wait to put it somewhere and be able to hang some keys on it. Now, I did see a spoiler coming up for the next Lit Joy box. They have a different one of these. I'm not gonna tell you what it is, but I'm definitely getting it. And so I'm wondering if they're gonna be coming out with multiple different versions of these, which would be really cool if you could get one and then, you know, like theme your key to it. Like for the Muggle Worthy one, I could put one of the keys that I have today because it's very Fantastic Beast related. And then if we get any other ones, I could do the same thing. But then the next one is a little darker theme. So for some of the darker themed keys that I could put it on. But yeah, so there's our key ring. But let's go ahead and take out these keys so we can see what they look like. Okay, guys, this is probably the key that I was the most excited about out of the two but we have the wizarding bank key. Look at this bad boy. You can see you have like your little wizarding bank or Gringotts little like credit card. And then you have the key and I'll take these out so we can look at them better. Oh, you guys, he's beautiful. So I am assuming that the dragon on here is supposed to be related to the Ukrainian iron belly. That's just what I'm assuming. I don't know. It doesn't look exactly like it, but we know that that guy hangs out in Gringotts Bank. And then it just the whole key itself is beautiful. I love the different shading of the dragon. He just looks really nice. And then on the very bottom here for the actual like little pins that go for the key, you can see the little letter G. See it better right there. Little letter G for Gringotts. And I just really like the design of it. I think it's the way that it's styled is very reminiscent of what you think about or what you see in Gringotts. It's just kind of 
old timey, luxurious, I don't, I don't know exactly how to explain it, but I think they did a really great job designing this guy. I just noticed, I don't know why I couldn't realize what this was, but the little keychain is based off of a galleon. Perfection. It has, it's the shape of the galleon. It's the color. It even has like the same design on the inside, very reminiscent of the actual design from a galleon. And it says a wizarding bank. I don't, I don't ever know what that word means, but it's the U-N-U-M and then Galleon. And then on the back, it just says Litjoy Crate Alohomora Collection. And then we have this adorable little keychain <laughs> that is just like a little debit card or a little credit card. And it has the G on the top and it says Wizarding Bank Goblin Access Card. <sighs> I love it. And you have your own little number. I'm sure everybody has the same number, but wouldn't that be cool if we all had our own number? On the back, it has the employee ID, which is the same as the number on the front. And then it says there's no safer place. Well, that's not true. Uh -huh. And then just the last little thing. Oh, I don't know if I showed this enough, but this guy is very shiny and like kind of like glimmery. I don't know if you guys can see that, but in the light, it's so shiny. Hmm, I really like it. But then they also just have the little, the little hook that you can put all the little keychains on, and it is the same exact color as the key, which is amazing. You know, sometimes their keys do fun things, but I don't think this one does. If I'm missing anything on these keys where it does something fun, let me know because I don't see this one doing anything fun. So now we have that key done. Now let's open this chonky guy, which I believe if I am correct, that this should be the Kowalski Bakery key, which I am still excited for. I'm excited to see what it looks like in person. I can tell you I wasn't expecting the box to be this big. Oh, okay. He's pretty cute. Okay. Oh, okay. This one might be the one that does something exciting. So the Kowalski key itself for the bakery is pretty simple, but really beautifully done. So you can see it's just this very, the other one was kind of an older bronzy looking key. This one's a very new gold key. And you can see it has the K on top of it for Kowalski. And then it's just got a simple, little key part here. But on the back, there is a little difference where it says quality baked goods where the K was. I like that it's all new and shiny because you know, he just opened his bakery. This is what it would look like. Just to show you as well, this one does have a key ring that is the exact same color as the key. Now this guy, this is what I'm thinking might be the really exciting part. It looks like, oh yeah, okay. So this is the little keychain, and you can see that it says Fancy Confectioner, or Confectioners, Fancy Confectioners. And it's like a little briefcase, but look, it opens. If I can get it to open. I know it opens, I just was opening it. Okay. <gasps> oh, I absolutely love it. It's just like, Okay, so you know how the beginning of Fantastic Beasts, Newt and Jacob, you know, mismatch their briefcases. Chris is just glaring at me because I break everything. <laughs> okay, so you know how they have the same looking briefcases, but when Newt opens his, it's filled with all of the little baked goods that he made to take to the bank. When you open this guy, it has his baked goods in there. Oh, I love it. Oh, that's so unique and so cool. I absolutely love it. And look at the top of that briefcase. Look how shiny and beautiful that is. A very pretty keychain. And then on the back it says Kowalski and then it says Aloha Mora Collection. Okay, now we have I think the reason that this guy is so chonky is because we have a little, a little baked good 
that's like sitting down in it so that it doesn't touch the top. Oh, oh he's like, he's so soft. I wasn't expecting him to be a soft little keychain. Oh, I don't know what he's made out of, but I love how he feels. But it looks like the little niffler that Jacob bakes in his bakery at the end of Fantastic Beasts. It just looks like a little niffler baked good. Oh, he's so cute. And he looks just like the ones from the movies, you guys. Oh, I like him. Yeah, I... I think I was more excited about the Gringotts one, but I am really, really liking the Kowalski Bakery one. I really like this little guy. He's super unique. And I think that kind of double opening up keychain is really, really nicely done. All right, so that was all of our items, everything from the box and all of the add-ons. So I'm gonna go over the cheat sheet, make sure I didn't miss anything. So on the front here, it says LitJoy presents Circus Arcanus, a stunning collection of amazing creatures from all over the world. So that's very reminiscent of the circus that we see in Fantastic Beasts. First item is our Expelliarmus collectible coin. Practice your charms and spells with our magical coin collection designed by Maggie Rose Studio. It does say that each crate features a different spell or charm coin and its corresponding wand motion. The next item is our Akami teapot. Get ready to pour yourself a nice spot of tea and share it with your favorite wizard friends. This gorgeous teapot was illustrated by independent artist Bambi Khan. I think that's how you pronounce it. I could be wrong. It features an Akami, a plumed, two-legged, serpentine-bodied creature with wings. It does say on here that the teapot holds 16 fluid ounces and comes in a gorgeous designed box. The third item is the plush Niffler. Hide anything shiny because this magical burrowing creature is sure to find it. With a long snout and a coat of black fluffy fur, this adorable Niffler will be the perfect addition to your plush creature collection. It does say that he measures 8 inches tall. The next item is the Najini wand. So the serpentine wand is Najini based. It says you don't have to speak parcel tongue to use this Najini wand. Inspired by the snake herself, this wand will be a unique addition to your collection. It is made from resin with a metal core and comes in a gorgeous LitJoy wand shop box. Next we have the Newt suitcase photo strip. We're so excited to share the latest magical photo strip with you. Imagine with us when Newt and Lita attended school together. Ever the beast lover, the Hufflepuff loves his many creatures, but is careful to keep them safe and hidden away, even when the cute Lita gets curious and can see that he's up to something. Next is the Newt Scarf Socks. Aside from his suitcase, Newt Scamander's coat and scarf are as iconic and recognizable as the Weasley's red hair. These socks were patterned after Newt's scarf, not only as a tribute to his unmistakable look, but to celebrate his Hufflepuff heart that is hardworking, patient, and accepting to all. I do like it says fantastic feet and how to cover them. Then we have the fantastic creatures nesting dolls. Don't we all wish we could store as much in our suitcase as Newt does? These nesting dolls aren't bewitched with an undetectable extension charm like the suitcase, but they do feature five different fantastic creatures that fit into each other like magic. Then we have the fantastic creatures theme art print. Always a favorite, this spellbinding and wonderful theme art created by independent artist David or two illustration has been turned into an art print for you to display. Then we have the featured add-ons, which is gonna be the Wizard's Bank key and the Kowalski Bakery key. And then on the very back, it does say coming next is the Legends and Lore box. That's gonna be the next box in their quarterly subscription. So including the two art prints, this box had a total of eight items. Again, that's not including the add-ons that I purchased. Now, I do have to say, I, enjoyed this box a lot more than I've enjoyed the last couple. I feel like there maybe wasn't as many items as there have been in some of the previous boxes, but I enjoyed the ones that we got in this more. Before I get into that, let's go over our favorites and least favorite items. I will say for my least favorite item, I'm going to say <laughs> the little plush guy. Now don't get me wrong, he is cute and he is very soft. 
There's just something about him that does not look like a Niffler to me. Like if you would have given me this, I would not have been like, yes, that's a Niffler. He's cute. He's just maybe my least favorite out of this box. Now, I actually have a few things in here that I really, really enjoyed. I think there's two items that I, I have to have them both as my favorites because I was very impressed with them. The first one is of course going to be this beautiful teapot. I love that they didn't just give us a teapot that's themed Harry Potter. Like the whole purpose of the teapot is because it is in Harry Potter. LaJoy will do, they'll do like these teacup um, and teapot, you know, that are based around certain fandoms. But this guy is different because we see the teapot in the Fantastic Beast movie. We know exactly what scene this is from and what's going on. And I absolutely love it. And I cannot wait to get an Akami to put in here. The artwork is beautiful. The whole design of it, just fantastic. Definitely one of my favorite things. But I can't pretend like this little nesting doll wasn't also a favorite out of this box. This is a very unique idea. I have never seen a nesting doll in a subscription box before, at least none that I've ever received. And I love that it, it makes sense, you know, like all of Newt's animals are fit inside this small suitcase. And it's like every time you open one, you keep seeing a new creature. I think it's a great idea. I think the quality of it is really nice. It's made out of wood. The artwork of each of the creatures is beautiful. I had such a fun time just opening it. So yeah. Nesting doll, nesting doll, yeah. Nesting doll is going to be my second favorite out of the box. So I have to say for the Fantastic Creatures box, I was very impressed with it. I'm very excited about all the items that we got. I'm definitely gonna be wearing the new socks. I'm definitely going to be displaying most of these items on my bookshelf. I, I just thought that they had some really original ideas in here and I am very happy that I have them in my collection. So. Yeah, I was definitely a fan of Lit Joy this month. I don't know. I just thought they did a great job. I would love to hear what you guys thought about it. I know that the last couple boxes have been kind of hit or miss, and I would love to hear what you guys thought about this box in particular and what your favorites and least favorite items were. As always, thank you for watching. If you would like to see more videos related to Harry Potter and the Wizarding World, feel free to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I hope to see you next time in the common room.